Good evening, Firebirds, and welcome back to some Friday Night Rocket League. I'm your host, Bearded Man, and I'm joined by Petey. We are here for Firebirds White versus Upper Iowa University Peacock, and I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh, I'm, I'm beyond excited here. Rocket League Friday Night's always the best night of the week. I'm sorry. Now, getting right into this here, Flair trying to work this easy goal. <laughs> easy goal. Oh, we weren't even done with our intro. Easy goal. Wow, Flair is on fire. Grade 50 Already. from back there on, uh, I gotta check that name, but grade 50 from him at midcourt, an easy slot for Flair. Looks like we have 10 pin Ken Kenny. I'm gonna call him Kenny 10 pin. And who is the third player over there? The missing the, the stranger. And Krupster. All right. Uh, looks like I missed that name there. Ten pin now. Trying to work this one towards our Firebirds corner. Gets it middle. Looks like Kenny was up, but not quite able to convert on that. Bit of a uh, bit of a uh, congested Firebirds defense there in the corner. Flair tries to help that one out. Ten pin able to work that one middle. Just gets over deck, but Kenny off on that shot. Flair taking this one up, not quite able to get the hit he wanted with the little boost he had. Deck looking to keep this one on the Peacock's half there. Flair taking control into the corner. Kenny meets him there. Flair now working this one out past midcourt. Ball going back and forth here. Looks like both teams relatively strong here in transition. Deck trying to take that one a little slower and pop it, but he's going to be met by 10 pin. 10 pin then again, 50's Dwizen. Great catch by Flair with another 50 from him. Dwizen looking to take a little bit of control. Fantastic fake from him. Flair nearly pinched that one with Dwizen. That would have been a nice goal for the Firebirds. And we just didn't have anybody back there. I'll be honest, that was a great play from Flair. Hard to see it if you don't play a ton of Rocket League, but the they would have had a pinch there. That it would have been really nice. I honestly thought they converted on that. It just looks like one of our players got a little comfortable. Hard to rotate back on that. Yeah, and I think the, the boost was a little bit low there, and you know the speed yep. was not able to get there. Definitely. 1-1, one, one, game number one here. Love love a good game. Now, if any of you folks are here from the uh, prior stream, we did tell you to get your popcorn. I hope you did, because this should be a show. Wizen now taking control. Looking to get this one past half court. He's got Krupster on his booty. Flair now taking control of this, bringing this to the corner. Looks to work around. Kenny gets a great 50 over him. Krupster now taking control of this. Flair trying to get that demo. Krupster just had enough boost to dodge it. He's left with nothing on the corner. That's going to be an easy center for Deck. Kenny's up on the backboard. Looks like the Wizen wasn't quite able to read that. Flair takes a shot just high. Not sure what happened with Dwizen. He landed very far in front of the net there. Oh, a minor uh, misplay there from Deck. I believe he had flipped out of the way instead of in the way there. 50 from Flair there. Great job on not letting them get any easy shots. Great follow from Dwizen, honestly, to work that one around. 10 pin. Easy hit for Dwizen, who centers it for Flair. And Flair is all over. Flair's wow, that. beautiful. This is this is the second game with Flair where he's just really, really come back. You know, having a little bit of a, having a couple matches at the beginning of the season where he wasn't right. playing, he's back and he's definitely showing he's right. better than ever. This guy, you know, I can tell you right now, he's one fired up Firebird. Uh, definitely someone that has put in a ton of off like practice hours, put, puts in a ton of hours into this game. And it really is nice when it gets to show. Kenny now taking control here, trying to bring this one towards middle, but he's going to be met by Flair. Another great positioning from him. Great shot from him. Nearly catches the Peacocks off guard there. Krupster nearly brings this one out middle. Tries to pass to Kenny. He's going to be met by Deck. That's going to come down for a very difficult 50. Krupster not quite able to put that one away. <clears throat> Kenny now up, looking to bring this one up the wall. Didn't quite get the bounce he was looking for. He's going to be able to 50 that. Or I mean, not even 50. Put that over Flair. Missed that wide open shot. Easy put away for Tempest. Or Krupster, my apologies. You know, I, that, that's heartbreaking to see. I think we saw earlier, too. We just saw Dwizen missing that shot. Deck was there, but just was not yeah. expecting, I guess, the shot to go in right there. And was yeah. just mistiming that jump. Yeah, definitely. If, if I'm the Firebirds here, I'm, I'm not holding my head on that. You know, Flair was probably the a hair off of that 50. And Dwizen obviously expected it. Just as well in position though, and he missed his hit by a hair. So you, you know, that's just, the ball doesn't go your way sometimes. Looks like Tenpin trying to get that out to Kenny. Kenny wasn't looking to take control of that. And, and still zero boost, able to get a decent 50 around deck there. Looks like the Peacocks are a bit congested on the Firebirds half. I think that was Flair that tried to work it out to deck to push that one down the half, but deck not quite able to get that beautiful bump by Krupster. The bump on deck, um, 
right there is what solely got them that goal. If you look into that net, if it shows that Krupster got a fantastic bump, boom, right on deck, right into the net. Very difficult to save it from the Firebirds. Probably a lot of communication on the fact that just deck had the best position for that, called it, and his teammates obviously felt as if he was going to get it. Very difficult. Demos, you know, uh, we talked about this last year. They're the best. They're the best, most detrimental move. And I'm sorry, that save was... <laughs> I do was not expecting that. That was godly. Beautiful shot from the Peacocks to put that in the upper half of the goal, and Dak just came out of nowhere. The saving Angel on that one. Very difficult to... They had a... Peacocks not able to get the clear they were specifically looking for there. Still kind of 15 in front of the half. Flair is able to hat come out on top with a Delph. Flair this with a hat out. trick. Is he? Is that a hat That's trick? That's it. That is a hat trick. Three That's shots. What I'm talking about. Wow. The only nice 50 from him. Wow. Nice 50 from him. It's definitely the one thing that this guy really prides himself on. He takes a lot of time to set up his 50s and stuff. It's great. Fantastic offensive play from him. Ball's going to be 50 right into Flair's hand off the kickoff. 3-3. Three, three. Dwizen looking to take a shot. That's a bit off. Krups, they're not taking control. Dwizen looking to center. Gets one to deck. Close. Another really good save here from the Peacocks. Tempin now taking control. Looking to bring this one off. Has a fantastic 50 over, over Flair there. Dwizen popping that off for deck, who answers fantastically with a 50 on Krupster. Tempet not quite able to get the <laughs> Firebirds are looking fantastic what? What? right now. Well, so so the if a hat trick is three points, what's four points? Oh, he's just better a than stock that. points? Yeah, you know, four point stocks? <laughs> just gonna start picking out, you know, clothing. We're gonna have a necklace. We're gonna have a watch. We're gonna have... <laughs> not great. Great rotations from these guys, you know. I. Dwizen passed right out to Deck. Deck had an even better answer on that. And then 50, easy put away for Kenny now getting some space, not quite able to get the touch he wanted. Flair rushing him. I, I like the speed of play we're seeing on a Flair. He's not taking a second on anything. A yeah, beautiful pass, caught uh, the Peacock, lacking then oh. double committing, easy put away for Flair, nearly. Tempted on a great clear out. Peacock's trying to get a one here, 10 seconds left, trying to find that equalizer goal. Cubster looking to pinch up, not quite able to get that pinch. Yeah, that was some good play from the Firebird. <laughs> I am not at all. I don't have much to say. I mean, that Seven was... shots on goal from Flair, yeah. four Offensive. of which made it in. Offensive mad. Wow, that, that dude. Wow, and Dak having that some of those insanely clutch saves. Yeah, his 50s like, all throughout that game were fantastic. Like, I, I, I don't even know. Like, there were right. moments where I'm like, oh, this is it. This is where it's going to get really sad. And then out of nowhere, Dak's just like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Yeah, oh no, my we, gosh. we definitely saw some really, really, really good rotations from the Firebirds. You know, a couple of those plays, you're seeing all three of them get involved, and it's not in a sloppy manner. They're well spread out throughout the field, and it seems like everyone's where they should be. Uh, I really liked the positioning we saw from that. Oh, yeah, and there were a few moments, I think, which came down to, you know, more so communication, 100%. you know, or also just a, a solid misplay. You know, not getting the right angle, not getting right. the right Very height. difficult to play a perfect um, game. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, this game is... It, I, I always say this, it's the easiest to understand and watch. It's the most difficult to play because it's unlike any other game out there. It's not like an FPS, it's not right. like League of Legends. It's a lot of physics. We pride ourselves on our uniqueness. That's <laughs> <laughs> Rocket League players. Now, Dwinson looking to get this one above middle. Finds Flair, I didn't even know he was sitting over there. Deck looking to bring him middle, low boost, not quite able to get the 50 around. Hempin up now, looking to pass the Krupster. He's gonna be met by Dwizen. Dwizen looking to pop that out middle. Flair will meet Kenny there at midcourt. Tenpin, quite an awkward uh, approach from him. I, I don't think he jumped off the wall quite the way he was uh, hoping to. Krupster looking to boom that, but no Peacock over there to answer. So, gonna fall right into Dex's hand. He's gonna be met by Tenpin, who gets it around him. This is a possible breakaway here. Kenny goes for a catch. Oh, what an answer from Tenpin. Flair was waiting on that. Wizen looking to pop, didn't quite get the bounce off the ceiling that I think he was looking for there. Dak trying to keep this out of harm's way. Kenny up for a shot. Wizen now taking control on the sidewall. Most likely going to see a center from him. Beautiful pass. Not quite able to find Dak though. Kenny now with the ball here on our Firebirds half. Tries to get around Flair. Even better 50 from him. Dak is up. That's a great shot. Oh, I thought that was in from his camera view. Krupster looking to pop. Dwizen already up there. 
10 pin now popping for Kenny, but Deck is just a thousand miles an hour faster there. Easy put away for Dwizzle. Wow. Oh man. You know, Deck, Deck, that would have been a, such a great shot had it been a little bit more to the right. We can see just hitting oh, that, that left bar off the goal. Beat. Oh yeah. Sure. I mean, you know, he was way up there. I would like to think from where he came from, he probably pre-jumped it and it was just already up. That was amazing. He was way up there. I'm really, really glad the Wizard was able to come in and, yes, and definitely, definitely meet that goal, there, make yeah. it happen. Now, Krupps, they're getting a nice off-screen demo on Flair, who is our man in net. Uh, it's just Peacocks weren't quite able to uh, convert on that play, though. Peacocks definitely... Oh, you got to put those away. Close. Kenny nearly wide, 10 pin. Met by Dwizen there at goal line. Dwizen now trying to pinch for the middle. Nearly gets it. Tempin has a great pop up, but Flair is all over the ball. All <laughs> over that. Oh he my gosh. Over. Just patiently waiting. I would like to think Flair knew this was coming. Can we, can we get a can we get a health check, a wellness check on Flair? Because Flair is Flair is, is doing yeah, really, really well right now. And I want to make sure beautiful. he's okay. We need to make sure his back isn't breaking, you know. I'm not I'm not saying, you know, well actually I kind of am saying. But Jack and Dwizen though are doing really, really well right That's now too. But Flair is getting those extra goals. Now we we saw a lot of just really smart play from Flair where you know, recognizing his teammates are up and he's, you know, Dwizen and Deck can cause some really, really good offensive pressure. And they just, they're leaving such easy opportunities for Flair to capitalize. And he, you know, the way he's playing right now, he's there on every one of them. Yeah. Cups are not trying to clear this out to Kenny, who does get a pop over Dwizen. He's going to be met by Flair that centers that out. Deck not quite able to commit on that, though. Trying to slow this down for his teammates. Deck's, or Deck passes the Dwizen, Dwizen to Flair. Flair now looking to bring a middle. Has a great hit off the corner. Deck not able to get up for that, though. Bit out of position. Dwizen does a great job of slowing that down mid-court. It's going to be played into Kenny's hand. who gets a pop over Flair. Kenny's going to also 50 with Deck, but that's going to be cleared out of there. Tenpin now looking at what was that. Absolutely ungodly punch off the wall there from Tenpin. Kenny gets an easy little pop, but the Firebirds were all over that play. Nice pop from the corner from Dax. Sad to not see a Firebird answer that one. Listen, nearly gets the 50 from uh, Krup Krupster. Dak pinching that off the wall. Near pinch with him and Flair there. Krupster, well positioned to be able to clear this. Takes some control. Tries to go up high. Not quite able to get the air dribble he was looking for. Then Pin now has a shot. I would have thought someone was back was back post there. And it seemed like from our Flair's perspective, he thought the same thing. Very difficult, you know, when that ball doesn't roll off the back wall, like both of those players, I can tell you right now, we're expecting that ball to roll up, and it's very difficult. All three Firebirds players were on the goal, but nobody was in the goal. You know, we had Need we had Wisdom on the top, Deck on the left, and Flair on the right, but the ball yep. went right in between them all. Oh yeah, and, li and like we've been saying all night, every one of these players that we stream, you know, especially that we go up against, or even that's on our team, every one of these guys are super, super capable. So if oh, you yeah. give them enough space, you give them time, they can make a play happen. Every one of these players has something that is their bread and butter play that they have perfected throughout their time. And, you know, that's what's gonna happen. Who is it? Gets a great look for Deck in middle, off the corner, he's gonna put that one away. Oh yeah, you know, oh yeah. Deck, beautiful pass from that guy. Deck oh. is just wowing me today. In every aspect, he's doing some amazing, uh, he's do, getting some amazing shots. However, he is literally textbook, when I talk about defensive positioning, we are seeing him lining himself up at the mid court, watching the ball in the intention of, I'm going to back up to my goal. It is perfect and exactly what I'm, I'm wanting. Tough, that's tough. It was a very sloppy kickoff from Dwizen. He had messed it up, and Kenny just got the hit he was looking for for that. Deck would have had to match that right off the wall. That's a tough save. That's a yeah. tough save. But and we saw, yeah, we saw Dwizen try, and it just Definitely. did not oh, yeah. again. Just, his, just a yeah, his kickoff was sloppy in some way. He he nearly cleaned it up. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, Deck always, you know, I find him to be one of the more consistent aerial mechanical players that we have on Carthage. He is very consistent. Wizard just hitting that out of the way of Krupster could have been detrimental. Looking to get a pop over uh, Kenny, but wasn't quite able to find the ball there on that second touch. Tenpin now looking to keep control of this. Deck is up. Tenpin gets it around one. Dwizzen going to be able to clear that to Deck. Deck's going to take a shot. Nearly missed. Or, I mean, just missed. Almost 
had that gold. 10 pin, great rotation from him. Nearly put it in though. Firebird's looking to burn time. You can see our team playing very safe, having one guy in the bag. No need to have three men up the field in this type of game situation. One second left. Firebird's looking to just put this one on the ground, and they do. Beautiful. 2-0 in the series tonight, and Beautiful. the Firebirds are on fire. Dwizzen having the only... Dwizzen having a goal. Deck having five shots on yeah. goal. All of them playing well. All of them... Everybody, every single one of our players had a goal tonight, and that's in that game. Flair having four that. goals in the first game. So I'm liking this. We're seeing very, very consistent. We're seeing, you know, they're playing very defensively when needed and very aggressive when needed. We're not seeing any issues of uh, being overly aggressive. We're not seeing any issues of them, you know, leading by points and then playing super aggressive because Definitely. that is that is just had, that has been an issue in the past for some of our teams. Yeah. And we are seeing them playing perfectly right now. These this team's chemistry, we've seen it with every single player. Oh, for sure. Even when we don't have the, these three exactly, when we have Tax Evader, when we have I Won't Accept That, yep. the chemistry is there. Yeah, no, I mean, Carthage White is by far, in my opinion, one of our smartest teams that we have, uh, for sure. These guys come extremely well. <laughs> okay, okay. I, mean, I love it. Flair is, he is oh my here from game one, second number one of game one, and he is here right away in the game three. <laughs> Jeez, he go from an 81 miles an hour. Oh my Jeez. gosh, I was not expect. when I went into this game, I was not expecting us to have such an awesome game. I thought it was gonna be a close game, but wow. You know, I know that, you know, Flair has been more than excited to get working with this team as much as he can be, as much as he can be, you know, not having those first couple weeks of games, you know, this guy's been more than motivated. But yeah, like you were saying, these guys are very smart. You, you know, White, Carthage White here, these guys calm unbelievably well. And you know, the, the, the awareness that they have, you know, they're a team that's recognized right off the bat that they're not the most mechanical team or, or the most consistent team. But that doesn't mean that they can't be the best on rotations and calling stuff out. You don't have to be good at the game to do either of those things. Now, that minor double commit, as I was talking, does hurt to see. Does yeah. hurt to see. That, it's always a communication error to have C deck and flare up there together. I will say this, though. I've seen on numerous occasions tonight, they're all, it almost looks like they're playing three-card Monty where they are like shuffling the ball around, yeah. shuffling who has possession we, man, we, to um, mess up yeah. the other team. And it is actually awesome to watch. You know, from an opponent's perspective, like when you have someone like, when you have like clear indications of fakes, so that's very difficult to read, but. Easy play from here. Dwizzik just gets a nice little pickup off of Krupster's clear and sees deck sitting down there and just easy put away. Looks like Flair was getting a little hungry at the end there, almost stealing that one. It's, it's that, it's that, Distraction, you know, we had all of the all of the peacocks go to one player, and then suddenly they had two players to worry about. Yeah, I mean, you know, if the peacocks continue to sh pop out with a triple commit here, there we can only hope that our firebirds are going to capitalize on that. And another misplay? Are you kidding? Wow, what just happened? Deck with two goals there. Was this a passing play? Oh, Flair cleared it down across the map. Shiny minor misplay. That hurts. That hurts. I mean, it wasn't even going in. That hurts. Yeah, that I was not expecting. From the that Firebirds was... right now, I'm very happy. With <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. Buffer, I can tell you that. We're now looking to. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding? What is happening? Are you kidding? What is right now. Oh my God. We're not even. <laughs> it is literally a if minute I'm the and eight peacock, seconds. I, I am. Yeah. We're I'm a little we are frustrated. A little over sixty seconds in, and we're now, experiencing this right if now. If you're peacocks, though, you have four minutes on the clock, more than enough time to bring this game back. These guys have to stay very strong in the mental game. Oh, I, I can assure you, if that was me, I'd be throwing stuff. But it looks like the. What? Where did he come what from? What is happening? Where did he come from? You called it two games ago. Deck has been anywhere and everywhere on the defensive goal line. Are you kidding? Deck is a magician. Where did he this come is, from? We are, we are witnessing Ooh, good a up. game full of magicians. What? what is happening? Oh. I don't oh. even care. I don't even care that that was a goal. What is happening? Deck is somewhere. He's here and then he's there. And Flair is here and there. What? These, it's, it's, this is the Not movie at Now You See Me. They're all magicians. Guys, I don't know how they're getting back <laughs> on some of those, though. That was nuts. Oh my gosh. This is one of the greatest games of Rock I've ever watched. I'm looking to put this one off the corner, nearly able to. Blair, tough save from him. I saw okay. that happen. It was a very tough save from him. 
I would have liked to see Flair call himself off of that and then have Dwizen take that ball. Because Dwizen was much better positioned to put that into the corner. Yeah, and I, I think right now is exactly what you're saying. I think the Firebirds were, I mean, we were a little bit too fired up. I think they were too. <laughs> And you guys are getting a little ahead of themselves. Exactly. Possibly. Great 50 from Dwizen to keep that pressure. That's that's going to be a bit wide. Flirt nearly able to finish that one. I'm not sure what just happened. Krups are now taking control off of Dwizen's hit. Looking to pass the Kenny. That was a textbook passing play. Absolutely textbook passing play. And like we said one minute ago, it, if yeah. you're Peacock, you just have to focus up. Rocket League is a game that is never over. The last 15 seconds of the game could literally last a minute if you keep the ball up in the oh, air. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This game never ends. I think both teams are playing really good offense right now, but the yep. defense is lacking. Definitely. Definitely. You can, you know, you, you, you see the stress by the upper Iowa Peacocks to score the ball, and you're seeing that offensive pressure is so raised right now. And Firebridge is a little sloppy there on defense. Dak nearly had that save. Nothing that we can't really do. Just a bit difficult. It does not feel like we're at three minutes. I cannot believe two minutes happened and we're already at nearly 10 points. But that's what I'm saying. Very high scoring game here. Both of these teams would like to see a lot better communication from them. Easier. Wow. There you go. Yo, no, Flair, you ask I, I think, I don't think Flair could have, I mean, he nearly handed this to him. He said, here oh, you yeah. go. Let me just leave that up there for you. Dwizen comes out of nowhere. Beautiful up and back oh, shot. All right. You can see tie game. game. Squishy city. Firebirds can get one or two more goals and then just play defense. Let's not go into double digits here. Three minutes on the clock here. Five, five, very high scoring game here. You don't see these too often in Rocket League. I'll be honest, even in comp, this isn't a uh, normal occurrence. Who isn't trying, or Deck trying to get that one out of there. Tenpin takes a shot, Flair forced to center that, gets a pinch with Deck. Wizard now last back, just worked over him. What a save from Flair. And that's what we were talking about earlier, where you have to have trust, but you also gotta, at least if you're the last man back on a third man play, you gotta be there. That's your one and only job. Great save though from Flair. Dwizden, even better patience. That fake was nuts. Flair now taking this up to the sidewall here, looking to bring a middle. He died. That's going to be off the backboard. That goes the ring. Oh, my God. It's just oh, oh, my God. God. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. my God. Flair passes this. That gets a 50. Crumpster clears it, and then Flair hits it again. This are team. you kidding me? Oh my God! Are you kidding me? This is like the, the greatest game of Rocky. Not I'm able to get oh the clear on that. They need it right back into Flair's hands. I think oh, Flair has. I think Flair just got here. another hat trick. Oh yeah. I think he just got another hat. Two hat tricks in one game. He has all of their goals right now. No. But he's got three goals. Oh. I think so Dwizen has two. Deck oh, has another one. hat trick. I apologize. That's oh. I only had two. Okay, here we go. Crumpster. Last man back makes a great stop on deck there. Krupster able to work it over Flair as well. Looking to take control, tries to go up with it, but not quite able to. Wizen extremely patient on this ball. Working around two players by simply not even doing anything. Flair clearing that out to the corner off of a very difficult shot from Krupster. Deck trying to move that one out. And he gets a high pop. This could be dangerous. Flair, fantastic <laughs> save. Him and Deck have been on the money tonight with those defensive rotations. They're looking to put this one away, nearly does. Six to five, minute 20 on the clock here. Krupster popping that one over. Deck Kenny's up there. Gosh, this defense. We are having a very difficult time. We're having All a great time. Both teams it is, is the, fantastic. It is the best of times and the worst of times when it comes to our defense right now. We're having some amazing saves. Yeah, we are having like some We're having some saves that are insane ungodly. saves, and then we're having saves where it's like, we're just oh, having we're very just difficult, difficult. Like we're, ha we're having very simple positional errors that are causing us such difficulty on. And pin, easy flick over Flair. Deck is last man back. Deck now looking to work this one up, gets a 50 with Krupser to keep it on the Peacock's half. Ten pin up now, looking to clear. Couldn't really find a Peacock over there. Kenny now popping this up into Dwizen's hand. No Firebird there to answer to this. Krupster pops high up the middle. Deck trying to be up there. He's able to connect on that. He might fall on it, which he does, but no Firebird read that one. Kenny pops this one high. No, it's Dwizen. Yeah, Dwizen was all over that. Up like a rocket. What a double off the sidewall for him. Threw off the entire Peacock defense or offense there. Kenny, great clear to the corner for Krupster. Krupster's going to take control on the sidewall now. Fantastic patience around Dwizen there to not hit it into his hands. Firebird's a bit congested. I like to see that nobody doubled there. Flair passes off the deck. Oh my gosh, that looked too good to be true there. I thought he had it. 
I need now taking control. That's not gonna happen though. Dwizzen instantly 50s that. 10 pin, easy center for our boys. Easy center, ooh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I thought Dax was gonna be able to secure that double off the right. backboard there. They this love to see Firebirds need to just that. play defense. Shit in the oh, goal. I'm the Firebirds, I got all three guys in the net. <laughs> you need everybody in the net. You need everybody ready. Oh. Just don't touch the ball, or don't let the ball happen. <laughs> what? You know, what, what, what a offensive filled game this has been. This oh is not gosh. a normal occurrence in Rocket League, folks. You do not see something like that. And that is a great scene. I don't even know what to think. We have it okay. having Flair throughout the entire thing though. Oh yeah. Madman on offense. Oh yeah. Madman now, on offense. Now Flair That's being last game, though, Flair yeah. being madman on offense. Deck being madman on defense and that offense and Dwizzard just being all around great. This yeah. is such an right. awesome game to watch. I think and it's funny because I remember normally we're always talking about how Dwizzard's always such doing such clutch saves. Yeah. And in this one, honestly, not nearly as many clutch saves as normal. Wasn't needed. Because, wasn't needed wasn't because needed. Jack was there, Flair was there, communication was there. A little bit lacking there in that last round, you yeah, know, like having a minor double commitment. giving up like four goals in the span of thirty seconds, which is always. Yeah, yeah. But overall, phenomenal. You know, especially coming off of a hard loss last week. You know, that was such such an amazing match to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they are going insane out there right now. <laughs> sure. That uh, overall, just I am I'm just. I've been, I'm so impressed by this team right now. Um, honestly, I don't even know who to give the MVP to because everybody on the Firebirds right now was just this this team, man. No, I, what do you think? If Would I, you if you had to pick one person, who do you think? They, if I'm giving MVP, I'm giving it to Flair. Flair, his his offensive cleanup is what kept our Firebirds scoreboard so high. Majority of the games, you obviously need defense, but he played a little bit of defense. We saw him especially in the last game out and have some really clutch saves mm -hmm. similar to deck you know i thought the whole team as a whole i mean you saw if you're looking at the scoreboard game number one the points couldn't have been more evenly spread so you know the team itself played fantastic we saw great communication from all of them but if i had to pick one i probably would pick flair i probably he, just the offensive presence he had throughout the series was so consistent oh i agree and i i was between flair and deck yep. sorry it wasn't but uh <laughs> i think with that i think some of those saves with deck was just you're cutting it way too close when you have a split second save oh, yeah. is great stop it's great but oh, yeah. why weren't you would go why is that why was that such a close to not being a save you know you need to be able to really really hammer down you need to guarantee some of these saves and when you're not in that goal, it was really scary. Now, he was positioned really, really well yeah, so really many pushed. times. You could see him. The ball would be, like, lined up perfectly, but he's like, I'm not going to rush in right. because I need to be able to go back to my goal. And that is exactly what he did. From these guys. Oh, yeah. This you is, know. like you said, I think this might be their, their mechanics, their mindset is exactly what we need. No, definitely. And, you know, not to leave Josh there and then, or Dwizzin in the dust there, but... You know, he did very well oh, yeah. in a lot of his upscale reads. You know, Dwizen is much more of an aerial player than I than I would say on the ground. So, like, a lot of the times when we see the balls get, like, mid-court high balls or anything above the net is really where we see him have a very simple time out to the side, out to the corner, out of harm's way in general. Mm -hmm. And the whole team played very well tonight. Oh, yeah, and I'm very, very happy with the whole record for tonight. Three wins. Yeah, we'll you take know? that. It was, you guys, board. so you guys got a 3-0. Yes. Uh, Firebirds Red got three one. Yes, three one. And then Firebirds White getting three zero. Oh, so I'm I'm happy with that. You know, one loss, we'll especially have. Firebirds Red though, being in such a high division, only one loss is not de yeah. like a, a one round loss. No, these guys are getting better. Losing one round, just yeah, it's. <laughs> if you're a Firebird fan, you know next year is going to be even better to watch all these teams. You know, last year was our, only a semester of us getting thrown together. We didn't know each other. Everyone's still. You know, perfecting coming, especially our Firebirds Red, a whole new composition, and I think these guys are only building. Oh yeah, and and you know, we, I'm sure we're gonna get. I mean, we've seen some amazing. We got some amazing new Rocket League players. You know, Tax really Evader and both of those uh, and, and Vale. So like, you know, I'm excited to see who we get next year. We we we've had some really really talented people come in, and I'm sure we're gonna have even more talented people come in. But that is all we have for tonight. So uh, thank you so much for watching. We will be back on. Oddly enough, Sunday for a very spooktacular, the Carthage Esports Spooktacular, uh, which we are having a in-person LAN, which is a, it stands for Local Area Network. So 
Carthage Firebirds Black versus Car uh, Carroll University in League of Legends. I believe the time is at 3 p.m. It's going to be spooktacular, coming costume, you know, very, very fun. Okay. I'm saying spooktacular because I was told that that can't be the official title, but I'm making the, uh, the official title. <laughs> um, and I believe we're also having a rematch of Carthage Firebirds Overwatch team versus Carol oh, Overwatch team, which Carol and Firebirds last year, the we have a they were rivals, rivalry, yeah. and it's gonna be so weird because now we're gonna be having them meet in person for I'm this this scrim. Uh, it's it's a scrim, so it's not you know for any any actual prize outside of bragging rights. But this will be the first time, and I don't know if that'll be streamed, but I, it'll definitely be here in person. I believe the time is one p.m. for that. Uh, but. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely come in on Sunday if you want to watch us. Uh, we'll be streaming the League of Legends, the League of Legends match. Uh, but Monday is also going to be uh, Return of Valorant at the regularly scheduled, regularly scheduled time. Um, but other than that, I hope you have an excellent and safe holiday weekend, and we will catch you later.